details of the procedure would make me better. To be able to use abilities no other performer could. He wasn't wrong. People would kill to have them. In fact, some have. He was my biggest fan. My mentor, my teacher. Always there for me. Until I received the letter from that island. I made my way to the island. Harlan Douglas, his name was. Overlord Douglas, as he had the people call him. And there he was, waiting for me. He wanted me to use my power to bring his daughter back from the dead. Of course, it doesn't work that way. I'm a magician, a performer, not a witch. I refused. Angrily, he tells me that regardless, I had a show to do. All of his citizens were waiting for me. The marvelous Madeline to appear on stage. Though, try as I could, I couldn't seem to find any of these people. As I wandered the empty streets, I was being followed by some strange mechanical being. Monitors, as I later heard them being called. As I tried to make my escape, I was stopped by that same creature responsible for Ardell's death. I would never forget that grotesque, semi-mechanical face. Surrounded on all sides by Greymount's crowded train yard, I was rendered unconscious. <clears throat> I woke up in a prison cell sometime later. I escaped, trying to find some way out of the seemingly endless maze of buildings and tunnels. Daylight, finally. I could see the dilapidated buildings and broken train cars hanging from falling cables. Chilling. I wondered how these people lived, back when the island was populated. I don't think anyone will ever know. What happened to them? I looked up and saw Douglas observing from his tower, holding a gun. He dropped to the floor. I ran off, escaping to the mainland. Safe. For now. For all I know, this will be the only record of what happened at Greymount that night. Hopefully, the truth will come to light and these photos will be seen. Eventually.